This is Armand from VAC Motorsports. I wanted to share uh, something that uh, a lot of people have problems with when it comes to testing for bus lines. Uh, they call it CAN bus or K bus. There's many communication lines and many cars and this is basically just general theory. Um, but what, uh, what, you, what is hard about it is that you can't really use a voltmeter. So um, I found this, this uh, called the U-Basic. It's a U-Scope basic kit from AES Wave. Great company, great product. I think they designed it and made it. It's like a little package here. And you can see it looks like a little oscilloscope. Um, this makes it beautifully convenient. It's battery operated. You can see that the charge there. Uh, and it's rechargeable. And uh, it's very easy. You could kind of, I'm not going to get into how to set adjustments, but uh, in this case, all I did was plug it in and turn it on. I put the, uh, the ground, it comes with this cable, which is like a little coax. And I, I put the one on the ground to the body up there and uh, use this other, it comes with needles and little probes like this. And I'm gonna show you how, um, what it looks like. So if you're looking at the screen, I'm gonna take this and then over here, um, I had to fix a bus line. So if I tap in there, you can look down there. Now you see the, you see the green uh, line, the squares, and you see how the top is green. If I take it out, watch the green drops. This, in this case, they call this a high bus line, meaning it comes from five volts and goes down. Um, and uh, that's the high. Now watch, I'm gonna go to the other wire and watch the signal, it'll come from the bottom. Now notice how the green comes from the bottom here. See when I stop it? So it starts from zero and goes up to five volts. Um, and you can see the frequency. Now it doesn't really matter. As long as they're square waves, you got the right thing. So what happens if you touch a dead, a dead uh, CAN bus? We'll just touch that while it stays down there. If you put it to ground, it doesn't do anything. If you put it to straight 12 volts, um, you'll see 12 volts, it'll jump up to um, So anyway, but uh, basically uh, this is a way to visually confirm that the CAN bus is working. You'll see faults um, in, in, if you see faults in a diagnostic test that the communication is down, then you really want to get a tool like this so you can visually confirm. And in this case, uh, this car had water in the floor and they're, they usually the communication wires, if it's two wires, they're twisted pair like this. And it took us a little bit of while, but as I disconnected one item at a time, I would constantly monitor uh, the bus line using the scope so I could visually see if, uh, if we have a good communication or not. When it's flat line like that, you have no communication. And the minute I, disconnect this, I disconnected the seat, uh, I saw that the system uh, partially worked. And then um, I, I tested the wire that goes from here and it goes under the carpet here, went under the seat. And I found out that one of them was grounded, like shorted the ground. Um, so I had to, once I cut them up there, then the whole system, the whole car came back to working. This affected climate control on this car. Um, like it, that, the dash would not light up. The instrument uh, cluster, the climate control wouldn't work, the radio, this knob wasn't working. Basically all the body communication systems were down. Um, so this is very important and it's very cool. Um, this really will make your life easier to test. All you're really doing is, like I said, grounding one side, using the probe on either communication wire. If it's a single wire, that's even easier. Um, what I would do is check it and then also you can use an ohm meter uh, and you, this will even go into ohm meter as well but I would just use a normal ohm meter at that point and then see if the bus line is grounded like if it's continuity to ground then that signal has been shorted um, at that point you, if you know where it begins and where it ends and just run a simulated wire you can just run a wire externally without having to go through the whole car just to confirm your theory that that wire is shorted somewhere so if you run a loose wire from there to the seat for instance and everything works well you know for sure that that wire 
that runs there is the problem. So this is what I did in this case and it fixed the problem. Car wouldn't go to sleep. These bus lines are very critical for modern day electronics. And like I said, this test is a great test and this tool is just so convenient and uh, easy to use. And it only costs, I think like 150 or $200, a phenomenal tool uh, for anyone who's working on a modern day car. And like I said, we're not coders or programmers. We don't care what the message is saying, just that there is a good message and that it should be about five volts. Um, or, you know, depending on the car, each system may be different. I think some bus lines are even 12 volts, um, but uh, don't hold me to that. I know on this car, it fixed it. And one of the problems was also, like I said, the seat computer had some corrosion in there because this was under the seat. So this was bad and the wire was bad and it just took the whole system down. Anyway, hope this was helpful. Enjoy it.